What's up guys? So we are back again for another video. <laughs> so for today's video, we are gonna have a TED talk. So for have a twist. So we are gonna have a eating TED talk. So what is TED Talk? So TED Talk is a video created from a presentation at the main TED or technology entertainment site. Conference or one of its many satellites events around the world. TED Talks are limited to a maximum length of 18 minutes but may be on any topic. So what is the purpose of TED Talk? So TED Talk is dedicated to researching and sharing knowledge that matters through short talks and presentation. Our goals are to inform and educate global audiences in an accessible way. But before anything else, may I ask a question? I know that recess is your favorite subject in school or even in daily life. But what subject do most students like? Or what subject had the highest participating rate or attendance rate in school? You're right! MAPE subject or PE subject. For the reason that everyone starts from a child, and a child likes to play, play, and play. So everyone wants to play. Also, students gain experiences during games or activities and lectures. And those experiences builds them up to be a better person and as an individual. The main purpose of physical education is to develop students' competence and confidence to take part in a range of physical activities that becomes a central part of their lives both in and out of school. So according to Chester College International School, there are 10 reasons why physical education is a very important subject. So first reason is students who play sports are better able to concentrate and maintain focus, which has a positive impact on their academic life. This can lead to improved attainment in all other academic subjects. Some studies state that students who move a lot makes their brain work a lot. To be particular, a student has a deep concentration and stable focus on their other subjects in school. Second, regular exercise is vital to fight against child obesity. So we all know the many health problems and uh, associated with obesity. Like high blood. What? To give it in. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. High blood. diabetes and some other diseases that you, you don't want to have in your life. Physical activities or exercises implemented in school and helps a student to burn some calories at the same time they learn. The third one, students who exercise regularly have a better quality of sleep. Since a student's uses energy for their exercises, they must regain energy through sleeping. Therefore, after recharging, they gain more energy to become more alert at school and have higher levels of concentration. So next, physical exercise helps children relieve stress and anxiety. Young people today are arguable under more pressure than ever, especially due to pandemic. So it is vital for them to have an outlet for the stress by the help of social media and other platforms in the internet that helps teachers to approach students to exercise by making exercise vlogs and routines. In that, students relieve from stress and anxiety with the help of physical activities. The fifth one is playing sports in a group help a young ones to improve their teamwork and leadership. If there is no pandemic today, students are now training for their different levels of competition. 
since those students were nurtured with good athletic characteristics by their teachers and physical education subject, they will dominate their opponents and spread the spirit of sportsmanship. Six, physical activity promotes positive body image in teenagers, especially among women and girls. In this age of social media and societal pressure to look away a certain way, this is the outer most important. Since almost everyone is digested by social media world, so they were eager to be physically fit in actual or in vital world. Seven, sports teach children to have improved self-discipline. Physical education has lots of activities to do and lots of sports to play. When they are a player of a specific sport, he or she must have self-discipline so they can implement this self-control in all aspects of their life from better controlling their emotions to being more self-motivated on their studies. Next, PE helps children to develop their confidence. This can be a positive aspect on all areas of their life, such as personal relationship and the ability to integrate quickly and make friends, to think about their future goals. So physical education students develop their confidence for the reason that PE is more on activities and skill development. In that, they can conquer or overcome their fear on crowd since they are practiced to face their opponents. Number nine, sports helps children develop their motor skills and strengthen their muscles. When fine motor skills are developed, children will be more adept and handwriting or playing a musical instrument. After many time of practices, students and athletes mastered to do what sport they play. Since the basic fundamentals of a given sport is teached by physical education, verbally and in actual game. Lastly, children who play regular sports have improved behavior in school. Children nowadays were engaged more on gadgets, and they don't even notice their health were affected. They are lacking of physical engagement like playing sports, running outside, and exercising, and some other stops. And with the help of physical education subject, students will be more active, attentive, and productive in school. Not just in PE subject, but also in all academic subjects. That's why physical education is very, very important. So that's all guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. That's all. Peace!